this week of our elementary statistics class. We've already talked about the central limit theorem and how the normal distribution is prevalent anytime you're taking samples. And what we're going to do now is really going to use it. So I got a question. We have a student here that's sitting and he's wondering how long is it going to take so the counselor is going to see him. Is it going to be 10 minutes? Is it going to be an hour? So we want to find out the population mean amount of time it takes for students to get seen by a counselor. So, for example, you can wait, and you can wait, and you can wait, and look at the watch, and how long is it going to take? Let's do our one data point. Oh, here's our counselor right here, Aaron Barnett. Hey, here it is. It's been a minute and a half. So if we were to do this right, we would be looking at 30 or more than 30 students, 31 students, 100 students, and then we could get an idea of how long it's going to take. We could take the average of all of those, but the problem is that it might vary from time to time. And we've seen that the standard deviation is really important. And if we look at the sampling distribution, by having a large sample size, we're going to be able to get the standard deviation of that sampling distribution to be much smaller. Then we can say that not only do we know it's going to be, say, an average of a minute and a half, but we can say it really is going to be somewhere between maybe a minute and 15 seconds and a minute and 30 seconds on average for students to see a counselor at this college. So this is our student services that we are in right now. And students can get help here anytime. They can call, they can email online, and online students can find out anything they need to know about what we've got here at LTCC. So other things you might be interested in, instead of how long it might take to see a counselor, is maybe what is the pass rate, what is the percent of the students that actually pass into elementary statistics right out of high school or right out of taking the assessment test. That instead would be, instead of a confidence interval for a mean, what we were just talking about, this would be a confidence interval for a proportion. Since it's a yes or no, you got into statistics or you didn't get into statistics. And we can talk about what that confidence interval is. And that's what this week is going to be about, is figuring out what are the confidence intervals for means and what are the confidence intervals for proportions. So not just what is the average, but what is a spread that we might expect it to be? So I hope you enjoy the week and realize that this is the beginning of the truly, truly useful part of elementary statistics. So thank you for watching the video.